Hi everyone, it's Melissa, your Plantita Abogada here at Tasteful Nodes, coming to you today with a video to explain differences between a, a couple of plants that are commonly found in many of our collections. I'm talking about the Philodendron Gloriosum and the Philodendron Glorious. Um, as you may know, they are slightly related to each other, but it still doesn't stop the questions from coming. So I'd like to delve into them a little bit deeper, uh, the differences as well as the things that, that they have in common. And before we get started, let's get into our disclaimers. Number one, KKB tayo, kanya kanyang bayad. For our Westerner friends, it means I ain't paying any plant child support. Uh, if you see any plants here that you don't have in your collection yet, namely these two, don't blame me for anything that you may do as a result of this video. Um, we pay our way, right? Number two, I'm not considered an expert. Um, I'm a JD, I'm not a botanist. And a lot of what I understand, and what a lot of what I'm sharing with you, comes from what I've learned, what I've read, and what I've actually seen um, online, actually. So if I do find anything, and I guess this is um, another part of that disclaimer, if I do find anything factual, I'll go ahead and share at the bottom of the screen the source of where I found that nugget of information. So, um, thirdly, I want to go ahead and let you know that get a second opinion. Um, I am an expert on this. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. What is that? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Where did? You <laughs> Do you want me? Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm in the middle. I have to unbox this now, huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Well. Sh yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just do this in a little bit then. Okay. Um. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Melissa, your plantita abogada from Tasteful Nodes. I'm coming to you today with a surprise unboxing video. Yeah, um, I was in the middle of filming. Hi, B. Yeah, so I was in the middle of filming a um, episode regarding the Gloriosum, the Philodendron Gloriosum, and the Philodendron Glorious. And Plant Daddy came over with a little surprise for my birthday. I'm so spoiled. Um, anyhow, I'm so excited and I am overwhelmed, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, you know what? We will get through this. That's what we do, right? So my Gloriosum and Glorious video, I'll probably end up recording them another time just because the baby ha has been here for two weeks now. And um, I just wanted to churn out content a little bit at a, at a time. So I, I will have to, um, Maybe tomorrow or the day after, I'll go ahead and record my video for these guys. But um, yeah, so without further ado, let's um, open up my surprise plant. So, um, as usual, I've got three disclaimers, right? KK Bitayo, Kanya Kanyang Bayad. For my um, non Filipino speaking friends, that means we each pay our own way. If you like what you see in this box, don't blame me and don't come after me for plant child support, okay? Um, number two, I have no idea where this is from. I'm just, no. <laughs> number two, um, I'm not an expert in this field. Uh, I read a lot, you know, lawyers read a whole lot. So it's something that I've just carried on and it's something that you know benefits me and if I could share with other people I will um, granted I'm not a botanist but if I do share any facts that I found online from botanists or those well known in the field of, um, of, of botany aeroids specifically I'll go ahead and flash the information at the bottom of the screen as the source of where I gather that information um, thirdly Whatever I, how do I, 
Okay, thirdly, get a second opinion about everything, okay? Whatever is inside this box, um, I don't even know if I have care tips to share, but um, I'm assuming that you could probably search for this plant wherever you are, and that's a good place to get a second opinion is regarding pricing, um, pricing in your area. Unless there's a receipt in this, I have no idea what it is truly um, or how much he got it for. But yeah, so I'm so confused and a little disoriented, but let's make it through. So, um, I don't have anything here that says where it's from. And it looks like a few of my sellers boxing. So, it says urgent perishable goods. It has Paolo's name on it, Plant Daddy's name on it. Um, I don't even know who this is. That's okay. So, let's... Thank you for your purchase. Oh, it's R.L. Hilton Summers. Thank you, R.L., for helping Paolo with um, my surprise birthday present. Yeah, there's nothing on here that says what it is either. Okay, so I know one hint is that it's from R.L. Hilton Summers. Um, God, I'm sweating bullets now. I'm so stressed. Um, from R.L. Um, Plant Source International. We've purchased plants from them before, exquisite plants. Um, my Monstera Burley Marks' flame actually came from RL. Um, so yeah, great, great experience with RL and I'm thrilled. And I'm sure that this is gonna be a great uh, plant as well. Sheesh. Okay, oh gosh, I'm sorry RL. I didn't even notice which side is up. I'm assuming it's this side, but I'll make it quick. We'll go ahead and open this quickly so it doesn't have to lay or spill any more media, okay? Okay, and it's really well wrapped again, because all I see our papers. This man has got some answering to do today. <laughs> it's rare that he um, puts me on the spot like this, but he has done it in the past and I'm not gonna lie, he's quite excellent with the surprises. Um, let me put the knife away before I hurt myself. Okay. Paolo Dizon. Okay. There's a pot. There's a pot right down here. I'm so sorry, RL. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Don't mind me. Okay. I have no idea what this is. A tower of cotton. <laughs> I think I know what this is. Um, so, <laughs> guys, okay, I'm sorry, I'm a little <clears throat> at a loss for words. Um, <clears throat> Oh, jeez, I just dropped a leaf. I'm sorry.
if I'm not mistaken. Looks like a plant that I didn't, um, it looks like a plant I haven't put on my wish list um, for a reason. Uh, it, it would, okay, I don't know how I'm going to put this video out. So it appears that Plant Daddy's surprise is a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, if I'm not mistaken. Hi, you've got some answering to do. Yeah. So uh, is this what I think it is? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> oh, God, it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, look at the new leaf. It's newly unfurled. It hasn't hardened yet, but it's really nice. Um, I need to check the media. It, it, it still moves, so I just need to check it. But wow, happy birthday, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to ruin my makeup. And I worked so hard on my poor makeup. Time out. We got to put this on pause for a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, so I'm back. Um, it looks like we've got a Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, as for Plant Daddy, um, I, an early birthday present. Fantastic. So, moral of the story, guys, is when your husband tells you that he's got a brilliant idea of just taping one episode, you know, every few days, so that we could stay on top of our, our episode bank, if he's anything like Plant Daddy, know he's up to something, huh? <laughs> Quite nice. Oh God. Okay, so I have balloon sticks. I need to put these on some sticks. I see where they had them on sticks right here. So there's a little thread that used to keep it on a stick. Gorgeous. Um, yeah. Let me just see what we've got it in. See if I could just like let it acclimate for today. Uh, worst case scenario, I could repot it in the same media that I have my Monstera obliqua in. There she is, beautiful baby. Um, yeah, I might do that actually. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's well rooted. Um, I can't pull the plant out of the pot, but it's also heavily in um, cocoa, looks like cocoa choir and cocoa chips. And that's not gonna work here on the farm. Um, let me put this on pause again. Let me gather up some materials and I'm gonna do a quick repotting of my <laughs> surprise present, my surprise spirit to sancti from Plant Daddy. I'll be right back, okay? For this repotting, I have some perlite, I have some zeolite, I have some leca, I have some orchid, uh, some tree fern, or what is it called? Fern bark? I don't know, it's something that came with one of our freebies, so have that. I have HB 101, it's a soil conditioner, um, that we use in, in addition to our slow release fertilizer. I've got some wood chips in the front, um, horticultural charcoal right here, and some balloon sticks because I need to help this guy stand up. Um, so let me go ahead and prepare a mixture. So everything I've found online actually says that I should um, stick with an airy mixture, right? And these are airy and um, slight, just a little, little bit water retentive. Um, what the heck, I could always use this for something else. So this mix that I'm making right now is similar to the mix that I used for my um, Monstera Obliqua, right? So half of this container is gonna be my one cup. So I've got one cup of the um, orchid bark. 
I've got one cup of the cleaned perlite. And I forgot to get my gloves. Oh well. Oh well. Um, let's put this away. Cut this out of recording. I have about one cup of the Lekka. Um, these are Lekkas of different sizes to help with the water drainage um, and to keep it airy. So let's see how much of the horticultural charcoal we would need for this. Yeah, so when you're mixing something with this um, orchid bark, or tree fern, I'll put the name on the screen. Make sure you wear gloves because these things are pokey as heck. Okay. For the sake of measurement, let me go ahead and get this in here as well. I could do a better job cleaning. There we go. I know I'm not dressed for this. <laughs> um, I was actually supposed to be recording just an informational video today, not something that would require me to get my hands dirty. So thank you, Plant Daddy, for just having me dress up and not giving me any clue of what's going on. I love you regardless. Okay. So the horticultural charcoal is in, and this is a beautiful mix already. I think I might add some more. So that was half of the container. Let's see what another one fourth looks like. Beautiful, it really is. It's light. Um, it's moist. Let me do the tree bark first. Sorry, baby. There you go. Stay right there. All of the materials I have right now were purchased um, from local suppliers. So I'll go ahead and list their names down in the description box. And this one is, these are prepared wood chips. Um, a little dusty, but that's fine. I can live with that. At this point, in case you didn't notice, I'm now eyeballing it. Um, the wood chips will hold um, a certain amount of water as well, so they will be a bit water retentive, but not so much that it would drown out the plant like um, coconut cubes would be. So this is good. I like this. Let me just add a little bit more because I see some areas that don't have as much. A common question from friends of mine when I <laughs> repot or make my mixes is why don't you use gloves? And my answer is because I like feeling my potting mixes, right? Um, my mom is a type of person who can cook anything and she'll just throw things in and she just knows how to throw enough in to make it taste perfectly. and. For my plants, the plants I have here, I know when or what my my media should feel like for my watering and you know for the temperatures and climate here. So that's good. That I will have to rinse just a little bit. Um, the zeolite should be rinsed because it's a little bit dusty. Um, the texture of zeolite is kind of like a chalky rock. I don't know if you remember finding those when you were a kid, but yeah. So there's a little bit of dust that's 
associated with the zeolite. And I'm going to go ahead and wash that really quick. Rinse it out, and I'll be right back, okay? Let me put this away as well. And, yeah, this guy. Okay, I'm back. So if you notice, my mix is kind of almost all well draining. Um, with the exception of the wood chips, everything is pretty well draining in here. Nothing really holds water a lot. And that is why I've decided to add in zeolite. Zeolite. <laughs> um, these pretty blue and brown rocks actually have a, te a texture that feels like clay. And um, if you watched my gritty mix um, DIY video, uh, these guys are actually pretty, they're the water retentive component of a DIY mix, of a DIY gritty mix, a pond mix, right? So this, I think, would be the perfect addition to um, my PSS mix. So, like I said in my disclaimer, okay, I'm playing mad scientist here because um, I know my ingredients, but I also know what I need for my climate and my watering style. So let me go ahead and mix this up. Hi, I have a spider who visited. There we go. When you start getting photobombed by a spider, you know you live on a farm or you have a lot of plants. Hi. Okay, let me get the rest of this out. I don't want the water, the fluid, liquid. Okay, and let me mix this up. So as I mentioned in my DIY gritty mix uh, video, so there are some people who actually add in um, organic components such as wood chips and it still works. And I have a feeling this will work out really, really well. So according to, you know, my best friend Google, and uh, according to what I found on Facebook from a good friend of mine, Yukino, um, PSS seem to like airier mixes. Um, they're named after the town that they're found in, which is Espiritu Santo, Espiritu Santo. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> this is completely unprepared. So I'll go ahead and flash the name at the bottom. Um, it's a town found in Brazil and the town actually has a dwindling supply of these plants in the wild. They're now in danger there. So I am guessing that this plant that I have here in front of me is probably a tissue cultured plant or a propagation off of a node. Either way, it's gorgeous and it looks like the real deal. Um, You've got the trademark long body of the Spirit of Sancti. You've got the ears in the back. You've got the red midrib. You've got the red petioles as well. Now let me go and get it repotted real quick. Yeah, this is in pure coconut. Um, we use, we both use, oh, wow, wow, <laughs> oh, don't mind me, I'm completely geeking out. Check out those roots, right? Yeah, this is really pretty. So they use complete um, coconut choir, coconut peat. And um, for some growers, that's great. But for the farm um, where I'm located right now, not so good. Um, for some reason, my plants just don't do well with them here. And they start dying if they're in heavier cocoa peat mixtures during the rainy season. So I just can't keep it in a co coconut peat mixture. I'm gonna have to repot it. Man, this is beautiful, beautiful roots. Well done, RL. Again, thank you. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. Hmm. 
Hey, baby, can you pause this real quick? So I'm back and I'm ready to repot. I uh, was able to take off most of the coconut cubes. There were some big chunks inside and some of the coconut choir, not all of it. And I think I'll leave it on for just a little bit longer, but I'm gonna get repotting now. So let's go ahead and get this started. These other two pots fit it perfectly, except it doesn't allow for space for the balloons to go, the balloon sticks, um, which I would need to actually make right now and cut. So these guys, easy peasy, cut away, right? Done. Oh, there's my spider friend. I thought he climbed on my head again. Okay, done. So what's gonna happen is with these guys, I'll be able to tie them to a stick and help keep the, um, the leaves upright, right? And it's all the rage here. <laughs> uh, if you're not doing this in the US yet, go visit your nearest party store and find um, some balloon sticks and get to stick in. So I'll need some Velcro for these, but that could happen later. I'll just go ahead and position them for now. As I was saying, balloon sticks are helpful. Um, you can use wooden sticks, um, barbecue sticks, chopsticks. I have done that in the past. And I've done that um, because I had no other choice, but if you have access to balloon sticks, I would absolutely recommend that you grab those because it takes them longer to um, rot or to get mold on them. So definitely um, invest in some balloon sticks at your nearest party store, okay? Okay, and you can be here and you'll be there. Good, let's continue repotting. Um, another plus to having it in this glass jar is that it increases the humidity within the jar itself. Um, normally, I would say be careful just because you've got some coconut dust in there, coconut choir, and you know they hold water like crazy. But since we are monitoring the growth of these guys, um, the growth of this plant in particular, I feel confident enough that this will do fine as long as we monitor the watering as well. Okay. Hey baby, do we have um, Velcro? Do you know where the, do we have any extra left? I know I use it for the white princess. Hey. Can you cut me a couple pieces? Maybe three pieces so I could get this other guy set up properly too. Thank you. Pretty. Thank you. Some plants like this and the billier, 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 I'm not gonna pronounce it, the billetier, the billetier, billetier. I'm sorry, I can't ever pronounce that name. I'm sorry, I'll do better. Um, could use extra support when you're potting them or repotting them. Um, and that's also somewhere where the, the um, balloon sticks can come in handy.
and it's a messy episode. But there's also a great surprise of an episode as well. And there it is. My mess, my beautiful mess. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you Plant Daddy from the bottom of my heart. You're my favorite surprise. Um, yeah, so let's get back to business. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the insanity which is my life, um, feel free to hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you get notifications of future videos. Um, give this video a like, right? Give my spirit sancti a like. Um, <laughs> I need to come up with a name for it, and I will soon. I'll go ahead and announce it on Facebook. You can find that name, the name that I gave her, him, um, on my Facebook page. It is Tasteful Nodes. And I'll definitely be posting more pictures, update photos of this guy um, on Instagram as well. My Instagram account is Tasteful Nodes. Okay, guys. Thank you for... Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this unboxing um, episode, the surprise unboxing episode. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you too. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, okay? So ulitin, keep those nodes classy and tasteful. Bye.